Hey guys, I'm getting ready to work on a cool, cool piece. I can't wait to show you. But I am doing a little prep and I have put in two colors of DIY paint, uh, Farm Fresh, that I just got on my fingers, and Apothecary. So I've mixed those two colors. Well, I put those two colors in here. Now I'm gonna mix them. And I'm going to put salt wash in it. I have never tried salt wash. I have watched Jamie Ray use salt wash, but I have not. And the funny thing is, is right now, I currently have no nails with which to open this weird container. It's like, it's like this. So you have to like use your nails. And I have none right now because if you're watching this a long time from now, it's quarantine. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And you're supposed to use you're supposed to use enough. Oh, there's a little scooper in there, but it was way down in there. I didn't see it. You're supposed to mix this up so that it's like cake icing. You want it to be really thick. Oh, this definitely looks like green cake icing. Ta-da! I may actually need to make a little bit more. We'll see. I can use my butter knife because this stuff will come right off. It's water soluble. So I'm gonna look for an appropriate brush and I'll be back. Here's my product. Here's my brush. I wanted something that had really tight bristles because this is so thick that I really want to get it, be able to pounce on there really good. And I'm gonna be really random with where I'm going to put this. I'm going to leave this part here smooth. I'm not going to put any there because I want to put, um, I want a decoupage on that. this whole piece like this and I'll be back to show you how it looks when I'm done. This um, salt wash mixture on overnight and it's definitely rough. I mean listen whereas if I rub on this you can see all the yummy texture oh i'm excited um so yeah this is that salt mixture with the paint and now this is what's going on top this beautiful white swan so I'm going to grab a brush and let's, I'm not going to paint it while you watch because that would be super boring for you, but I am going to, sorry, <laughs> I am going to take my paint over here and <clears throat> do a little bit.
So you just paint right over the top of that stuff. And I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want any of it to go inside my cabinet. I want the inside to stay. <clears throat> um, so look at how that looks. Yeah, I want the inside to stay dark. So I'll be back when I've done my first coat. Coat number one. Ooh, I got some drippy there. I'll have to fix that. So I think the white swan actually did a pretty good job covering the first coat, but there are a few streaky spots. So I am going to um, do a second coat. And I did decide to paint the chicken wire. And I think it, it gives it a pop. And it was a lot easier because trying to keep the paint off the chicken wire next to impossible all right one more coat and then the real fun begins i have a cameraman today it's awesome i, I think i'd like to have that on a regular basis honey yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> so we're gonna sand this and i'm super excited come over here to the side honey all right can you guys see, can you see it, honey, through the camera? All this lovely, yummy crustiness. There we go, we got a good shot of it. Here we go. <laughs> like that I'm wearing everything you just sanded off <laughs> <laughs> all right I'm gonna finish sanding it and then I'll give you guys a full tour of this project it looks awesome Yep, super cool all right she'll be back to you here shortly oh my gosh oh my god I am so beyond in love with this That I'm not knowing how I can part with it. Um, I love this. It came with a little dingly one, but I just went and grabbed this one out of my stash. Because I don't know where the handle is right this second. But this is just spectacular. So I hope you guys are digging it. I'm going to get the shelf ready to go inside of this and then I'm gonna stage it up and show you a last photo. Played around with something that I haven't played around with before. And I didn't show it, cause I didn't plan on it, but I used black wax. And I've seen Jamie and Zeb use black wax and I really liked how it came out. I'm not thrilled how it came out for me so you're gonna have to tell me what your opinion is uh, 
Um, I still need to buff it. I haven't done anything here. I put no wax at all because I'm going to put a transfer. I'm waiting for that transfer to arrive and it's going to fit really perfectly right here and then I'll finish waxing this area. But um, I have decided that it's too dark inside and if I was keeping it, I wouldn't want it that dark inside, so I'm worried that somebody else won't want it that dark inside. So I'm going to paint the inside this same color, which is Apothecary. I am hoping I have enough. I better have enough. I'm going to have to use some water. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside and... Um, I will wait until that transfer comes and I get the transfer on there. Um, I'll probably do a video putting the transfer on so you can see that. And then we'll do um, a final video. But this piece is involving. I really thought I wanted to keep this piece. But once I added the dark wax, I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I might love it once I paint the inside green. So. I'll be back, guys. Here's the final piece. I got way overexcited and put the transfer on without you guys seeing. I'm sure you've seen transfer supplied, and this one's really small, so. All right. There's the transfer. I had a little issue here and here, but with this really aged distress piece, I don't think it matters because it just makes it look older. So you can see, you know, you can see the items inside, but it is still a little bit dark. It would be nice to probably put this in a well-lit area. And then here's the handle. And then when you open it up, this is how I staged it up. And voila. I'm going to have to find a really great place to put this. It's probably going to go in our bedroom. So if you like this project, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every time I do an upload. And um, it helps me out a lot. So leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you on what you think of this new salt wash technique. And I'll see you in the next video.